Well, praise the Lord Most High, blessed to be He. Father, help us to continue to uh, to savor the love you have for us and the love we have uh, for you that uh, that the salt does not lose its savor. In Jesus' name. Never the same again. That's the topic for today. I was 24 as I stepped over the threshold of the church. I never thought I would love the Lord uh, more than I love my own self, but uh, I sure do. But that day everything changed. Uh, I fell uh, in love with the Almighty Himself. That was back in 1970. We were, uh, we were in a real revival and we were all going uh, every day. As, uh, as my love for Christ uh, was uh, so strong that, uh, that I could not wait to get off work uh, to get to church. Uh, to, <clears throat> to worship with, the, with my family uh, in Christ Jesus. You see, uh, he actually broke me and, uh, of being Mr. Tough Guy. He made, uh, he made a new creation of me, no, no longer uh, cursed by the flesh and, uh, and the sin which uh, come, comes from being born in the flesh. Never, and I never looked back uh, and still going strong for the, for the cause of the high calling of Jesus Christ. My salt has never lost its savor uh, for, uh, for our wonderful, awesome creator and friend. I realized that if he hadn't uh, died for me uh, on that cross, I would have uh, no hope uh, to make it to the kingdom of God, nor would you. Where the real uh, good life is, uh, for this is uh, still cursed ground, for it, it, it was cursed uh, for Adam's sake, which included all of us after him. You see, I don't just uh, get ba I didn't just get baptized in Jesus' name and then receive the Holy Spirit. I got infilled with uh, uh, Jesus Christ in me. That that no longer uh, words. Uh, uh, there are just no words that can can express. Um, uh, I was I was Holy Sp Holy Spirit charged and uh, and the Spirit of the Kingdom dwells in me. In Luke uh, seventeen twenty one, neither uh, shall shall they say lo, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you, and it, it is when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, it, it is in you. Therefore, greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. I realized His love for me uh, was greater than anything here on earth, and it is. And he loves you that much. But when they uh, when they come over and 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 crawl uh, when your children, your grandchildren really the grandchildren. So uh, uh, you see when uh, when we watch our our little ones uh, play, uh, we love them and uh, and our our hearts swell with uh, love for them. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we see the the little cute things that they do and. Uh, and it captures our hearts. The Lord is the same way. But when they uh, come over and crawl up on in 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 your lap and, and lay on your on your chest, as they just lay there uh, and say "I love you," uh, that and this kind of melts into your chest. Uh, that that is that is the ultimate, is it not? Uh, this is uh, this is the love, uh, and it's an innocent love of a child. And it's a true love. That's what you need. It's what everyone needs. This is a this is the love the Almighty Father wants uh, wants with you. A crazy love. Uh, just like uh, when you were teenagers, how you felt just crazy in love. You couldn't wait for the other one to call or talk to him all the time. I mean, it's all. I'm sure we had all a little little bit different lives, but not that much. Uh, you wanted to hold uh, hold him and uh, not let go. While going to church, uh, do we go uh, because we want to to love the on the Lord, or is it 
uh, just where our friends uh, and family are. So uh, <clears throat> I say uh, I say that God has Meshuga love for you. That is crazy love. So uh, you need to get some of that Meshuga. He already has it for you. When you truly try uh, worship uh, the Lord, He uh, He envelops you with uh, truer love uh, you will never find. Uh, feel that uh, uh, you will never. He He just pours it out on you. I don't know how else to put that? It's just He just uh, He doesn't hold back. Don't let God's heart ache uh, for your for your true worship and love for Him. For uh, for a one-sided uh, love is is a cold heart, uh, which uh, will not make it to the kingdom. Instead, uh, instead of sitting with him on the on the throne as joint heirs, uh, you will be as a servant unto him. In Revelation 7:15, therefore are are they uh, before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple, and he that sits on the throne shall dwell with uh, among them now I'm not saying that this is bad okay but you could have more if you do it now if you come to the Lord now now's the time and in verse 16 they shall hunger no more neither thirst anymore neither shall they the sun light on them nor any heat for the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them into living fountains of water and God shall wipe away uh, all tears from their eyes in Revelation 21 4 and God shall wipe away all tears from uh, from their eyes and there there shall be no more death uh, neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be uh, any more pain for the former things uh, are passed away has your soul lost its savor? Uh, for he will, uh, he will be coming uh, for those who uh, uh, have a have a good salt in them. Now let us search our hearts and find uh, find the lost uh, well, uh, what we've lost in the Savior. Uh, that when he uh, he, he does come uh, for you, you will be uh, a prized bird. Uh, in Jesus name so let us pray father we come to you now for every heart for every soul for everyone that needs you and we ask oh God that you draw them closer to you in Jesus holy name Jesus. Now remember, Jesus loves you. And I love you. You stay blessed until next time. In Jesus' holy name, blessed be he.